So I would say it started in 2013 before I met my husband um, when I noticed that I wasn't getting any periods. I was actually very nervous about this because, you know, when you get married, you're expected to produce a baby. And yes, uh, and you did tell me about a medical condition. Uh, and to me at that point, I was like, okay, you don't get periods? Great, you know. Uh, but Church. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> then uh, I was like, well, when that time comes, we'll, we'll overcome it. So my doctor just put me on some medication to let everything work and hope that everything was just going to happen naturally and then they upped us to some heavier medication and nothing happened and then they referred us to a fertility specialist and that's where we kind of almost lost it so they put us on um something called the iui to help me grow mature eggs to be fertilized and um I think we had we did about three or four cycles of that and we, were, we never got a positive pregnancy test. That's when um, my doctor referred us to do our, the IVF. So with our first try, we got pregnant with twins. Um, with twin girls, at 19 weeks, um, my water broke. I remember when it broke, I was in church. It was right after choir practice. Um, my water broke and I headed straight to the hospital and it just was downhill from there. Um, I got a serious infection from, from one of the babies passing and um, I was induced to have the, the pregnancy. And at 19 weeks, the, the pregnancy is not viable. So at that point, that's, that is just the end of it. And you know, after a few weeks and more months, everything cleared out of my system, you know, I was good to go again to try another round of the IVF. And we did that again, and we, had, we were pregnant again, which was fantastic. And then six weeks later, we had another miscarriage. Um, at this point, I was just heartbroken, and I was ready to just stop. There were some times yeah, I was just, you know, I, you know, try to, you know, save face and be the man, you know, for the wife and, uh, you know, but, you know, when I'm driving to work, I'm in my little corner thinking about all the things that's been going wrong and how, uh, why us? Why, why me? Why, why Hano? I mean, what have we done wrong, you know? Pastor Femi came over and just encouraged us. When he spoke to us, you know, it was easy to see God's hand in the whole process from when we started to that point. So when we went for the third time, we had a fresh, I would say kind of like a fresh belief and faith to go into it this time. But honestly, in my mind, I was thinking like, if it doesn't work this time, I don't know if I'm gonna do it again because it was, it was just a lot of, just a lot to do. So we did it again and we were pregnant. So obviously my problem wasn't getting pregnant, but my problem was staying pregnant. And you know, my husband and the doctor came up with a formula to make me stay pregnant this time around. And <laughs> there he is, our little Oluwa Timilane. The Lord is my strength. God was everything. He gave us the strength we needed. And I just want to encourage anybody else who is going through this, any uh, a story just like ours, to just keep at it. The, final result is will just flatten any doubt or discouragement disappointment that has happened in the past you won't even think about it anymore and um, that is God's way of showing you that he loves you my name is Anu this is my husband Remy my stepdaughter Olamide and our son Timmy we are the Oladipos and this is our testimony